Moira Rose. Won't you join me for a little stroll through the slice of paradise I like to call the town where I currently am? Children, keep an eye on these bags. Apparently in hell there's no bellman. What the hell happened here? We've been robbed. Right now some local is pawning my earrings for crank. My bag! It's gone! What bag? What brown bag? You had a room full of brown bags back home. Which brown bag? Oh, that crocodile bag, the one my mother gave me. Well, it's in the closet next to my briefcase. That's an ostrich bag. <laughs> okay, just calm down. Moira. Oh, no. I just finally cried myself to sleep. The bed's soaking wet. Is it blood? No, there's a there's a leak in the ceiling. There's a brown, disgusting oh. drip. I shall bathe, and if I bang my head and slip beneath the surface, so be it, Mr. Rose. Moira. Alexis. I don't know which David I want. I need to speak with our daughter. Good luck. Oh my God, where did you hear that? What is it? Do you not know my middle name? Of course I do. I blessed you with it. Okay, so um, then what name should I... Put down then. Alexis something rose. I don't care what others say. That's today's mantra. <laughs> <laughs> oh, awesome. Oh. <laughs> John, go find a towel now, please, or I will strip out of this robe and I will air dry in the street. We understand you have found some local friends with whom to spend. Time oh with. my god. A podunk baby out of wedlock is not something your father and I can afford to negotiate at this moment. Moira, I have to ask you, are those wigs real hair? I just want to reach out Please and Please don't. Them. No, Maureen does not like to be manhandled. Uh, are you drunk? Grass. Too much grass. A little bit. Hey! Track that cycle, Missy. Okay. Oh, next step is to fold in the cheese. What does that mean? What does fold in the cheese mean? He folds it in. I, I understand that, but how, how do you fold it? Do you fold it in half like a piece of paper and drop it in the pot, or what do you do? David, I cannot show you everything. Okay, well, can you show me one thing? John. John! John, do you have any idea what a terrible night's sleep does to one's face? Alexis, please, dear! Alexis hasn't been here for a week and a half. She's at Mutt's. Well, that's simply not true. I had breakfast with her just yesterday. That was me. We had a lengthy conversation about hosiery and menopause. Again, that was me. David, I have an urgent campaign-related question. I am approachable. Is that a question? Yes, the question is, I am approachable. Well, I'm sorry. I felt very conflicted about the whole thing. Of course you were. Now, will you be a doll and fetch mommy a knife? A knife? Oh, I'm sorry. I think you'll find one lodged in the middle of my back. The top 11 photographs of Moira Rose with future murder suspects. Well, that's not what I'm looking for. You don't understand. We must find them so we can get rid of them. Honestly, can no one find nude photos of me on the internet? We've, we've struggled with penury for quite some time now. Just two years ago, we were practically homeless. Where are you two from? You know, I've been wondering that myself. I'm from London. I was one of two identical twins. Tragically, I was snatched from my crib at birth by Russian mobsters. You can't put a price on dignity. Uh, tell that to your outfit. This is your outfit. What? I was served by an intimidating woman at the front desk with 
with an unrecognizable accent and scary looking attire. And what might this have to do with me? Fever, though? I don't know. Can you see? Mm. Uh. I think you have to do it without the tissue. I'm sorry, David. I know where else to turn. It's probably nothing, but I think I've killed a man. Okay, why don't the new guests stay in your room? It'll take a day just to rebox your mother's wigs. Oh my god, can you imagine? Not one of you is trained. Do you think it might be too much of an imposition to ask the chef to whip me up a kifla? There's a little piece of press you might want to read. Oh, if I've died again, I swear to God. You know what I'd love? A tea. We don't sell tea. Um, you know, I was gonna go, uh, make a run to the cafe. I could get you a tea if you want. No, that's not necessary. How serendipitous. Thank you, Peter. It's Patrick. I wasn't gossiping. It was just that you brought mm. it up. So I just wanted to clarify that it was... Gossip is the devil's telephone. Best to just hang up. If lunch is canceled, I suppose I'll show up on time for Jazzigal's rehearsal. Isn't that something you should be doing anyway? Oh, there's so much time wasted off top, John. Yep, yep, yep. Do re me and lip buzzing till I'm blue in the face. Hey, can I talk to you for a sec? Oh, always. Just not now. Oh. I'm afraid you have to secure us another venue. Okay, well, can't you do it? <laughs> Alas. Your co-chair will be busy getting herself out of jury duty today. Hi, where are you? I'm on my way. We've just encountered a bit of a roadblock, a, a holdup, a minor issue. Can you just like please try to hurry up because the last thing we want to do is stand up a room full of symbols. Oh, look, Jocelyn's pulling up to the hospital right now. Wait, Jocelyn's driving? Yes, Alexis, she insisted. My nerves are fried. Ah! Ah! Jocelyn! Moira, you're back. Did you just let yourself in? I have been knocking on your door since the beginning of time. Although now that I'm standing here, it's equally possible I didn't knock at all. Suppose we'll never know, will we? $3,700? What designer gave you that kind of discount? Sadly, it's not custom this time around, Alexis. Mommy had to shop off the rack. The barrel here, I think that we should bring Alexis in. Jabberwocky, there are still stones left unturned. Look at you, but... This production will mark my directorial debut. Mm. Oh. <laughs> you seen cues already. I'm just telling you right now because I know that none of you can keep a secret. Oh, at 9 a.m. It's a little early for character assassination. There's a good reason I've avoided these conventions in the past. Showing up, taking your picture with a motley crew of pale, dewy-faced salamander people. I haven't hit rock bottom quite yet. Oh! Oh! Stevie, either a flock of poultry has delivered its over <laughs> mid-flight upon our car, or I've become the victim of a vandalization. I could give you this bucket of soap? No! You never tamper with the crime scene. There is a dark side to mommy's industry, and I've tried to protect you from it your whole life. You took me to the Playboy Mansion when I was seven. And you had a wonderful time in the children's grotto. Well, don't look at me. I'm pretty sure she already knows it's a mistake. No, I'll talk to her. Yes, I'll tell her she has no right to lay this financial and psychological burden on us. Well, maybe I'll talk to her. Now she has to move into one of those homes for unwed mothers. Oh, my God, imagine. Moira, that's not going to happen. Oh, I'm sure there are plenty of them on this side of the tracks. So why wait? Book your vacation now to this humble little oasis. If heaven had a creek, it would be this one. Good riddance is what they said. Uh, who said that, sweetheart? I don't know. There... No name commenters, tormentors. Are we having a bad day, honey? That'd be fine, thank you. I'm afraid I don't have a gratuity right now. <laughs> <laughs>